Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. Let's get started with the cloud architecture, uh, so the basics of cloud. And then because a lot of people, okay, so many people like who are attending this, they're asking me a question like, so how different it is from Azure or AWS? So let me uh, discuss the cloud architecture initially and then I'll move into our product AC Analytics Cloud. Okay, so especially you take any cloud platform, it has three major components. Uh, first one, okay, so these are three major components in cloud. So first one is infrastructure as service, that is IS, then platform as a service, okay, and then software as a service. We have cloud infrastructure, cloud platform, and cloud applications. So all the infrastructures need to build your okay, cloud component or I can say cloud data center that falls into an infrastructure as service. So where we have networks, uh, block storage, all the computers, so they all fall into infrastructure. So then we have a cloud platform, okay. So uh, guys, where we maintain your database, <coughs> I'm sorry, and security and everything. Uh, the cyber security, everything at the cloud platform. So guys, we we know a lot of cloud platforms, right? Like uh, we have AWS, Amazon Web Services. We have Azure, Microsoft's cloud platform. Okay, then we have SCP, SAP cloud platform, GCP, Google cloud platform, OCP, Oracle cloud platform, Salesforce cloud. So these are the major leading cloud platforms. Okay, we have right now in the market. So So right now, Azure was doing good when it because of its uh, inbuilt cloud applications. Okay, so we have cloud app, cloud platforms, and then comes the third component, which is nothing but cloud application. Okay, so all the applications uh, required to run an organization. Earlier we have these applications on premise, right? Okay, so see SAP, the global leader in ERP applications. Okay, so now with growing adoption of cloud. It is predominantly moving all its applications onto cloud. Okay, so SAP now, okay, uh, I, I make it the point again, SAP, Microsoft, and Oracle, the leaders on ERP, so they're actually uh, <coughs> completely migrating their applications onto cloud. Okay, so with the growing adoption of cloud, so now SAP is focused on clouds, so you can see now uh, your ERP application that is S4 HANA that is available in both on-premise and cloud versions, right? We have our warehousing application uh, that is moving on to cloud, that we call it as Data Warehouse Cloud. Our HR MS application on cloud, that is Success Factors, Ariba, Conquer, the travel management application. Then CRM application on cloud, that is C4C, Cloud for Customer. Okay, uh, so with I, I repeat this with growing adoption of cloud, SAP is slowly migrating all its applications onto cloud. Okay, so and then now they're moving their entire analytics reporting and planning into cloud using a new product called SAP Analytics Cloud. So SAP Analytics Cloud is a cloud application, okay, which can be operated on any cloud platforms, okay. So it's, it's, it's by default, I can say, <coughs> It's, it is an in-house application in SAP Cloud Platform and it can be deployed, SAP Analytics Cloud can be deployed or can be operated on any cloud platforms using Cloud Foundry. Okay, we do have a concept of Cloud Foundry. I'm not going in details of Cloud Foundry. So using which you can deploy any cloud applications onto any cloud platforms. So even uh, the trial versions which we use, the SAP Analytics Cloud trial versions which you use, they are operated on AWS Cloud Platform. Okay, so the, I guess you got the difference now, right? So there was a huge difference between a cloud platform and cloud applications. We can host all the cloud applications on a cloud platform. I can simply say in a normal layman words, okay, I can consider, uh, your, I take a mobile, so all the infrastructure, battery and everything required to build your mobile, that's infrastructure. So then you have Android, right, which is nothing but your platform. So on, top, on Android, you, you, so we have some inbuilt applications and also we can download some applications using Play Store, right? So these are nothing but cloud applications like WhatsApp, calling, gamings. These all are like applications. Okay, in a similar way, so now companies started migrating their business onto cloud. 
okay so all the infrastructure to build a data center that's infrastructure as service then we have the platform and we run the companies operate their business on this cloud platforms using cloud app applications okay so when it comes to sap in cloud uh, guys i can say azure was doing better the reason is azure has a lot of inbuilt uh, inbuilt b2b applications uh, which are readily available on azure cloud like power bi like dynamics like three office 365 a lot of in-house applications on azure so that was the reason sap and google okay sap and google they had a strategic partnership in 2021 so sap the leader in uh, cloud applications okay leader in erp applications so they made a partnership and google has a very good data center and very good uh, the main challenge with sap is sap cloud platform is doing good I, there is no denying that it is now ranked number four in the market okay uh, but it, it don't have a heavy infrastructure it don't have a heavy data center base okay to transform it network so it has very good cloud applications but it don't have a proper data center so that was the reason so this sap and google made a strategic partnership saying that so now sap will be building some in-house applications on google cloud okay so and now google cloud uh, replaced azure as our biggest b2b cloud platform okay now most of the sap applications were operated on either sap cloud platform or gcp google cloud platform So uh, SAP Analytics Cloud is like a software as a service offering on cloud. This is a SaaS application. We call SAC as a SaaS application, like S4 HANA Cloud, SuccessFactor, Ariba. These all are SaaS applications. Okay, these are basically a subscription-based softwares. Okay, especially with on-premise applications, right? Like ECC, BW. So they are mostly a license-based softwares. Okay. So whereas uh, this cloud app, uh, so the cloud applications comes with a subscription. So what's the big, so world is advancing towards subscription based softwares. The biggest advantage with the subscription based software is all upgrades are free of cost during subscription period. Suppose your company subscribed analytics cloud for five years, whatever a new feature added that will be automatically added to the product. All the Upgrades are free. It is done by the SAP team itself. The maintenance is done by SAP. The customer service, everything comes within the subscription cost. Whereas in case of a license-based software, so you, you you take a license for one version. If you need to upgrade again, you need to pay. There will be a lot of administration and support needed. Okay. It's simple, guys. Uh, you, when you buy a smart TV, you have now Netflix as an inbuilt application, right? You just need to pay, get your account, subscribe, and then start using Netflix. So everything is free of cost in this. So now, uh, so this is about a cloud, a cloud platform and cloud architecture. So now let's move on to uh, SAP Analytics Cloud. So before I just go into Analytics Cloud, so we let's speak about analytics. We have three major components in analytics. So first is business intelligence, BI then planning and then predictive analytics. We have three major components in analytics. So especially for BI, we have a lot of tools like Power BI, Tableau, Click, right? And also SAP has its own BI tools like uh, business business objects tools like Lomera, Web Intelligence, okay? So AO analysis for office, some BI tools we have. Okay, and also some modeling and warehousing solutions like SAP BW, SAP HANA, even S4 HANA offers you now embedded modeling, right? So we have a lot of modeling and warehousing solutions uh, and analytic applications in BI. And coming to planning, so we have like Hyperion HANA plan and SAP also has its own planning components like BPC, uh, APO uh, and IP, okay, integrated planning. These are some tools we use for planning. And then coming to the predictive analytics, Okay, SAS is the leading solution for predictive analytics and even SAP has HANA predictive analytics library which is used in predictive analytics. Okay, so, so far we have different tools and different applications uh, to cover one component of analytics. So we have different tools for BI, we have different tools for planning and we have different tools and applications for predictive analytics. Okay, so, so far and guys uh, especially uh, we do the historical reporting in BI tools. So we use that historical reporting to 
plan to predict your future values so and based on the predictions so we'll uh, to achieve the predicted values we do the planning so these three are integrated okay but the biggest challenge was we have different tools and different applications for different components of analytics so there was no seamless integration between these tools which was major challenge for a company so to overcome that sap has came with a unique solution okay so that is nothing but sap analytics cloud okay which handles or which takes care of all the three components of analytics like bi planning predictive all at one place okay so it's like a single convergence solution we call it as convergence analytics convergence earlier the analytics was completely diverged okay different tools has different okay uh, features whereas now we are converging the capabilities of different bi planning and predictive tools into one single uh, application or one single product that is sap analytics cloud Okay, so if you can see a receive analytics cloud can handle business intelligence planning and predictive analytics all at one place Okay, and there will be a seamless integration between all the three components because all are now at one place Okay So uh, this SAP analytics cloud is a SaaS application it's like software as a service offering on cloud okay it's basically a cloud application it has BI planning and predictive in one place and then coming to the connectivity okay uh, because guys uh, generally uh, the data resides in your business applications like ECC or S4HAN or success factors or Ariba so the place where the operations happen right so we need to connect these applications with SAP analytics cloud okay and then uh, get the retrieve the information for modeling and reporting or whatever for BI or planning whatever it is okay a special analytics cloud can be connected with on-premise applications it can be connected with cloud applications or a hybrid application okay it can be connected with any system and we do have two types of connectivity in place so especially uh, so one type of connection we call it as live data connection and second one is an acquired data connection okay so in case of a live data connection uh, we have live data connections with sap modeling and warehousing applications like sap bw sap hana bpc s4 hana sap bo universe okay and then sap data warehouse cloud these are the six systems where we have a live data connectivity if you observe carefully these all are modeling and warehousing applications so we have a live data connectivity with sap's modeling and warehousing applications so uh, in case of a live data connectivity no physical uh, extract of data okay we just process the metadata work with the metadata and use that metadata for reporting and analytics okay because these these solutions have inbuilt models we just use that inbuilt models process the metadata and work with the metadata and then we have an acquired data connection okay we do have an acquired data connection uh, with uh, almost all the systems in SAP like ERP applications like ECC, S4 HANA or Business One uh, HRMS applications like Success Factors uh, so we have a supply chain application like Ariba, Conquer, C4C okay and then non sap applications like amazon applications or google applications and then microsoft dynamics okay we have a sql database connection where you can connect any oracle or ms sql databases and retrieve the information from the other databases as well so we have acquired data connection with almost all the systems in the universe whereas live data connectivity okay where you can uh, where you work with only metadata that was limited only to the modeling and warehousing applications of sap Okay, in case of an acquire connection, we physically retrieve information into SAP Analytics Cloud. Okay, so even this SAP Analytics Cloud also has its own database, guys. That's nothing but HANA. SAC also can store the information under the database that is HANA or HANA Cloud is our database. I can say that. 
okay i'll speak more about the connectivity uh, so during the sessions or something so it has a connectivity with almost all the sap and non sap applications in place and cloud and non premise applications it has a better connectivity so these are some basic features of uh, sap analytics cloud okay so then uh, so how the architecture how sap is looking for the future guys uh, you are, you might a lot of people know this right sap is now heavily focused on cloud applications they are when one thing clear in their roadmap they are very they are very clear on the roadmap so in future what are the applications they going to design any new application they going to design will be a cloud application okay so nothing on premise in the future so okay they are heavily focused on cloud so they already designed a lot of applications on cloud and for cloud okay and so they already coming with a stringent deadline saying that okay so even uh, so they're saying that by 2025 their entire erp should be moving to s4 hana okay so they're not they're going to stop ecc services by 2025 okay so now and this s4 hana is available on premise and on cloud so most of the recent subscriptions were s4 hana cloud mostly s4 hana cloud subscriptions happening so far okay so this is the sap's cloud for for the future so they have so earlier when i designed this this is a hana cloud platform but now this is renamed as sap cloud platform this there was a small correction so this is now renamed as sap cloud platform so they designed a lot of cloud applications on this cloud platform so that is s4 hana cloud success factors conquer field glass okay ariba c4c so these all in the cloud applications will be now connected with another cloud application so that is nothing but sap analytics cloud okay so way which will process your information and then do modeling reporting for bi planning and predictive analytics okay so sap is majorly it's it's focused majorly on two applications for the future one is s4 hana for their entire it's an erp application suit and then sap analytics cloud is suit for the end-to-end -end analytics so these are the two applications where SAP is heavily focused for the future. Okay, so maybe guys in another five years you see this kind of picture in almost all organizations. So already a lot of organizations started implementing SAC, S4 HANA, but in the future, so this will be the architecture from SAP. Okay, and this S4 HANA and SAC are tightly integrated and tightly connected, I can see. Once your business migrates to S4 HANA, okay, I can say now your BW and these kind, BW4 HANA, these kind of applications, okay. I'm not sure, I, I cannot comment on this, but uh, okay. So maybe in future, okay. So even the mo modeling will be moving into data warehouse clouds, uh, these kind of objects once the business transition to S4 HANA happens. <laughs> okay and one more thing sap analytics cloud is replacing as of now it's going to replace business objects for sure okay which is a reporting solution uh, so they're saying that by 2023 they uh, so they call this the sap saying they're going to stop all business object services by 2023 and the entire reporting should be on sap analytics cloud only when i say business objects it, it happens to all the tools of business objects like Lumira, Web Intelligence, AO, Analysis for Office, Lumira Designer, all the tools, services will be stopped by 2023. Okay, so now, so when I, when I speak about the history, why we went for SAP Analytics Cloud is, uh, the point is very simple. So SAP was leader in reporting arena till 2015 with business objects tools. But we lost a lot of market in the last five to six years because of some new age reporting technologies like Tableau, Power BI, Click, these kind of solutions taking over a lot of SAP market. So now SAP want to regain that market from these tools. So they came with a solution which is okay, which is in lines with Power BI or Click. I can say in some areas we are far better than Power BI and Click and Tableau guys. In some areas. Yeah, in some areas Power BI overscores us but in some areas we are far better than that a lot of analysts rate sap analytics cloud a bit higher to power bi and click you as well okay uh, 
so the reason is SAC's planning capabilities. No other tools has the planning capabilities except Analytics Cloud. So now SAP try to regain this market from the other technologies, other tools using SAP Analytics Cloud. So this is the application for the future, for the current and the next future. Okay, so now let's move into the in detail. So now we covered the cloud architecture, what exactly the product SAP Analytics Cloud. Okay, now let's move into uh, the components of SAP Analytics Cloud. Okay, so a lot of people has a misconception saying that SAP Analytics Cloud is a simple reporting solution. So I completely contradict that fact guys. SAP Analytics Cloud is a reporting solution. I totally agree that, but it has a lot of, lot of other features apart from reporting. Okay, see, I can see it's like a package, guys. This is like a package which can handle anything in analytics. So SAP Analytics Cloud. So if we, if I go with the business BI features of Analytics Cloud, we can connect with the different systems. Okay, especially uh, moving ahead, all the SAP projects will migrate to Analytics Cloud. Uh, the reason is very simple. So even though we have uh, so our competitors are also equally strong in reporting. So, but the, the major challenge was connecting your SAP systems with Power BI and Click is like a, a huge challenge. We do it through an open connectors. Okay, connecting a Power BI to a BW or an ECC or an any SAP application is a, it's one of the biggest challenges we have because we have to do it through open connector and there should be a code migration happening, which will take a lot of time to process your information. But whereas when it comes to SAP Analytics Cloud, it has a direct connection. It has a direct, okay, cross origin connection with all SAP applications. Okay, means there was no, we don't require any hardware or infrastructure to connect Analytics Cloud with any SAP application. And there was no core migration in place. So due to this strong and sophisticated connection with SAP systems, so all your SAP, means the companies which are using SAP applications, they should migrate to Analytics Cloud at some point of time. Even though you're using Power BI. In one of our projects, uh, we migrated from Power BI to SAC. The main reason was the connection was not so proper between SAP system to SAP S4 HANA to Power BI. The connection was not sophisticated. It's taking a lot of time to render the information. Okay, so we have a seamless connectivity with almost all SAP. Uh, warehouse applications and SAP ERP and uh, what we say enterprise applications okay so that's the first advantage we can connect with different SAP uh, non SAP applications and prepare your information okay and you can create models within SAP analytics cloud okay so we have that BW kind of modeling available here okay where we can maintain master and transaction data model separately so you, we can connect with different systems okay and then create models under SAP Analytics Cloud. If it is an acquired connection, if it is like an import connection, we physically load data into SAC. So we have data management also. To load data into SAP Analytics Cloud, we use tools like uh, CPI, SDI, okay, Cloud uh, Platform Integration, Smart Data Integration. This is the tool which is used to load data from different SAP, SAP or non-SAP applications into SAP Analytics Cloud, okay. So using CPI SDI, so data will be loaded into SAC, SAP Analytics Cloud. And we use that information for modeling and we use that model to create your visualizations or we can call it as stories. Guys, we don't call it as now reports or dashboards. Instead, we call it as stories now because now reporting means telling a story to the customer. So we call it as stories. So as part of BI, we connect with different applications, retrieve the information Okay, create models, okay, so which is more like BW or HANA style of modeling and then use that models to build your stories. So that's one way. So if, if uh, your company or if, you're already, if your organization already has an inbuilt models in HANA or BW or S4 HANA, so if you have already the models available, okay, so then recreating the same model in ACC is like a double work, okay, and which consumes a lot of space and which, okay, which is like, I can say return, uh, return on investment will be negligible if you, re if you reconstruct the same model in SAC. So that's the reason SAP Analytics Cloud is offering a live data connectivity. 
it's offering a live data connectivity with all modeling and warehousing applications okay like sap bw hana bpc okay these all systems can be uh, data warehouse cloud these all can be connected with sap analytics cloud in a live connection okay so that so whatever the models already created okay can be directly consumed into sac as a live model means there is no physical data retrieve into sac in case of a live connection in case of a live connection there is no modeling in analytics cloud we simply build reports or we simply build stories and if any user come and execute that story it will fall back okay so it will actually communicate your source system and retrieve the information from the source system so that is how your live connections work and we have live connection only with modeling applications where you have model already available inbuilt model available whereas if it is a normal enterprise application we connect in a physical connection so we retrieve the information we process the information in modeling and then reporting we do both modeling and reporting under a sap analytics cloud okay this is a couple of ways how the business intelligence work under a sac so one thing is sure we are reporting in sap analytics cloud okay modeling is optional in some scenarios we model in some scenarios we use the pre existing models okay so if your hana is a source then calculation view will be your source object okay if you have live connection from bw then bex query or your composite providers will act as source okay if you if you have a live connection with s4 hana then cds view will act as a source for sac okay along with the uh, modeling and reporting we do have some smart features in business intelligence as i say analytics cloud is a solution which has lot of artificial intelligence integration okay it has lot of ai integration it has huge machine learning algorithms in place okay so this machine learning algorithms this uh, this ai features will be available for bi planning and prediction it is available in all the three components okay so this machine learning features in bi we call it as augmented analytics guys another name for the smart features is augmented analytics okay so as part of augmented analytics we have some smart features in bi like smart discovery smart insights search team insights okay our visualizations etc so let me give a simple example because so far everything i discussed was on the on the ppt site so let me show you the search team site one simple example i show you search team site okay so now in the sap analytics cloud so this is your system it's a cloud application right it runs through web browsers only okay so actually this runs on aws data center guys is eu10 represents this is an aws this is running on aws data center this is your cloud foundry so this is the cloud foundry url okay so how the smart features work so there we have lot of smart features i give you one feature which you can understand now search team site in case of search team site a user can write a question in natural language means in english and system will automatically produce a chart okay on at the run time see here i just write something like show something like cross margin you get automated solutions also we just search it let me refresh this the system was on maintenance today this is sunday right generally systems will be down on sunday for maintenance no this is not working okay that's fine you can simply search in natural language and system will automatically produce 
the charts here. So uh, generally we, we have quarterly maintenance today. So generally quarterly due to the quarterly maintenance, we are unable to do this. That's fine. Okay, and these are some smart features uh, we have under SAC. So we have like smart discovery, smart insights. So these are completely powered by artificial intelligence. Okay, so the main reason why uh, SAP is uh, like, uh, the main reason why Microsoft Power BI is doing better is because of its AI uh, integration. Okay, and I can say SAP Analytics Cloud has even superior integration, superior artificial intelligence integration when you compare with other reporting tools like Click and Power BI. I'm not considering Tableau because Tableau is almost like outdated. Okay, so these are some things we have in BI. We can connect with different systems in live or acquired. We can model and then create stories reporting and then we also have some AI features in business intelligence we call it as augmented analytics so then when it comes to the second component we have something like predictive analytics okay uh, so as I mentioned uh, we also call it as smart predict uh, so as I mentioned CP analytics cloud has lot of inbuilt machine learning algorithms SAP had a project called SAP with the data science so using that project, it has built a lot of machine learning algorithms and integrated that algorithms into the products like SAP Analytics Cloud or Success Factors to different systems. Okay. So now, what's the point of having an inbuilt algorithm sees? Okay. Now a developer no need to go and build an algorithm, no need to go and build any Python or R algorithms. Okay. We have inbuilt algorithms in place so that a guy with zero knowledge on artificial intelligence and machine learning can also go and create a predictive model. So that was the biggest advantage we have in SAC. It means an SAP consultant with zero knowledge on machine learning can create a predictive model, okay, uh, with, uh, can create a predictive model without having any knowledge on machine learning because we have inbuilt algorithms. We don't need to go and design or build any algorithm here. Okay, SAP is building these algorithms and they are in, in, incorporating into these products like SAC. So we have predictive analytics, okay, using which we have actually three types of predictive analytics. Uh, so means we have different algorithms and these algorithms are actually classified into three types, like three types of predictive scenarios we have. So classification predictive scenario. So especially if your predictive outcome is yes or no, uh, zero or one so we go with classification predictive scenarios like I can say like I want to predict whether this customer will buy my product or not it is a concept of a classification predictive scenario okay so the second thing is regression uh, if your predictive outcome is continuous it's a number or integer then we go we, then we go into regression predictions especially I want to uh, find predict my sales revenue based on the uh, marketing spend based on inventory available and based on number of stores available, I would like to predict the sales revenue. So this is a concept of a regression prediction. Okay. And then the third type of predictor scenario we have is time series. Okay. If I want to predict my sales revenue for the future years based on the historical sales revenue, means I use the same sales, historical sales revenue to predict the future sales revenue then it con it is concept of time series or if you're predicting the sales venue based on external factors like marketing expenses based on inventory or based on uh, stores available so that's a regression prediction if you're predicting the sales revenue based on historical sales revenue it's it's a concept of time series so we have three types of predictive scenarios available so guys using these inbuilt algorithms we have inbuilt algorithms for classification we have inbuilt algorithms for regression and inbuilt algorithms for time series okay so that we can simply use our historical data we can simply use our historical data to train these algorithms to train and validate these algorithms and create a predictive model out of it and use that predictive model to predict your futures okay and you can simply apply that predictive model on your current and future data so this is how a predictive analytics work so we can actually perform all kinds of predictions using SAP Analytics Cloud, okay? So once your prediction is done, so generally guys, you go to any predictive or AI projects, uh, they ask you to learn one reporting solution also. The reason is 
So once you create a predictive model and do some predictions, how do you showcase it to the business? Through reporting only, right? We need reporting to showcase it to the business users. But the biggest advantage with SAP Analytics Cloud, it is, it's, it's basically a reporting solution. So we can, we can do end-to-end -end of predictive analytics under SAC. It has inbuilt algorithms. Using that inbuilt algorithms, we can create predictive models, apply the predictive models on current data to get predictions, future predictions, current and future predictions, and showcase the future predictions by creating stories or by creating reports within SAC. So everything end-to-end -end of predictive analytics can be performed under SAP Analytics Cloud. And then comes the third major component that is SAC planning. So guys, especially uh, uh, when your ERP application is majorly ECC or an on-premise application, BPC will our go. -to, BPC will be our go-to planning application because ECC and BPC both are ABAP applications. They have a very tight integration. But once your and once your business moves to S4 HANA. So SAP is strongly promoting SAP Analytics Cloud as the planning solution. Okay, so once your company's uh, business moves into S4 HANA and other cloud applications, the planning will be now on SAP Analytics Cloud. So actually as part of planning, we can create planning models. Same, how do you create planning models in BPC? In a similar style, we can have an account-based kind of modeling in uh, SAC planning also. Okay, and then, so generally guys, again, planning has two areas. One is planning modeling, then creating planning reports, which is the major tool used for planning reporting is AO, Analysis for Office, which is major an Excel kind of reporting. Okay, so we are especially the planners. Okay, the planners will actually work on the data because guys, planning data is not, a pure business data, right? It can be manipulated. We cannot manipulate a BI data because that is pure historical data, a proper business data. But whereas planning data is a future data which can be manipulated. Okay. So these generally these manipulations happen at AO by the planning team. Planning team do these manipulations. So don't think that the entire planning is done by BPC. BPC is purely used for planning modeling only. Okay, so 50% of the role in planning is technical consultant and the remaining 50% is played by the planners. Okay, who do all the manipulations at the reporting solution. So now SAC, can, we can do both planning modeling and planning reporting both under SAP Analytics. So it has all AO features. Okay, where you can do what if analysis, updates, means if you have any new product, how do you maintain the forecasting for the new products. Okay, we can do version management. We can create a lot of versions as part of SAC reporting. Uh, we have allocations, which is a concept of demand planning, predictive forecasts, especially in earlier days, like especially in BPC or something, the forecast is done manually. Forecasting is done manually by the planners. But now we have AI in place, right? SAC has this AI integration so with which we can directly create a predictive forecast. Means we don't, now there is no manual forecasting. The entire forecasting is done through AI now. <laughs> And then we have value driver trees, then we have data actions, multi actions, planning calendars. So we have different components under planning. Okay. So I can say it, it's like an end-to-end -end kind of a planning solution. A apart from consolidation, uh, we can do end-to-end -end of planning under SAC. And this is a different style of planning when you compare to BPC or AO. This is a different style. Okay, now both the technical consultant and planner both works on the same system that is like SAP Analytics Cloud for their end-to-end -end planning purpose. Okay, so guys, the major advantage for SAP Analytics Cloud over other reporting solutions is, especially Power BI, Click, they cannot handle planning. They don't have any planning features at all. Okay, this is one area where we have a huge advantage. SAP Analytics Cloud has a huge advantage or its competitors and especially so most of the planning projects are migrating towards SAP Analytics Cloud. Okay, so uh, one thing is sure, okay, again in planning guys, if you already have a planning model available in BPC or in AO or IBP, you can simply connect with these systems in live connection and use SAC only for planning reporting. But uh, if, if you are connecting with S4 HANA or any other system, you can directly connect with these systems, get the data, retrieve the data, and create both planning, modeling, and reporting in SAC. But one thing is common, whether you're going with BI or planning, the reporting will be in Analytics Cloud. 
but whereas coming to the modeling it is optional if you already have an inbuilt models available so we'll make a live connection and uh, get the metadata of the models okay if there is no mo model available you can make an acquire connection uh, retrieve information create models also in SAC so we can do both the ways so apart from this BI planning and predictive we have concept of application design so where you can build an analytic applications and it has a rich scripting capabilities so using JavaScripts okay we do have some JavaScripting here okay we are using this JavaScripting we can design some analytic applications in SAC this is more like a Lumera designer okay. so especially this is used in the scenarios uh, where your traditional reporting will not work because in story building in report building we don't have any scripting it's all UI based okay if there is any spe specific scenario where this UI based story building doesn't work so then we go with uh, analytic applications where we can do the script okay we okay so and this is like a fu heavy function rich script editor means you have a lot of inbuilt functions means you don't need to write hundreds or two hundreds of lines of code to get this scripting so it can be as so you can you can achieve even a complex scenario with five to ten lines of code max to max because of the heavy uh, functions and apis available in the scripting so we have analytic applications and then we do have a, another concept of distal boardroom distal boardroom is like an optional uh, means you need to pay additional to get this distal boardrooms it don't come with the standard subscription okay so distal boardroom means majorly it's like a multi screen touch enabled kind of reporting uh, so which is majorly used for AGM level of meetings and CEO level presentations okay especially presenting to the higher management to the highest management so we use this boardrooms it's like a multi screen means you can show three to four reports at one place and they are touch enabled you can change the values on the fly you using this digital boardroom means in one way in one way you can show the inventory in another screen you can show the sales in third screen you can show the finance means you can show all the three integrated at one place so but this doesn't comes with a standard subscription again it has to be an optional subscription you have to but I don't see companies opting for digital boardroom as of now okay and uh, the only component we cannot cover in the training is digital boardroom because we don't have this subscription uh, in my standard system but I show I I will cover this digital boardroom in a theoretical way. It is same as building the story only. Building the boardroom is just boardroom is just an extended version of your story building where you can set the meeting agenda and additional. That's it. There are some four to five components additional. Remaining all it's creating a story. That's it. And then we have a concept of SAC mobile, SAC mobile application. So earlier uh, so you can especially this uh, the users can uh, open these stories in their any devices like in their phone, the mobile and uh, iPad applications. They, so now SAC mobile is available under uh, both Google, Android and iOS Play stores. Okay, so from that way the managers or the business users can download this application and log in and then view the stories from their personal devices also. And this report will change its format or change its alignment according to the size of your uh, device. Okay, so if it, if it is an iPad or something, it will show the report in this format. If it is a mobile, it will show the report in this format. So we, we have that report formatting according to the device size and device structure. So, and then we have, we do have a concept of SAP Analytics Hub which is majorly acts as a launchpad, a centralized launchpad to access all your analytics content. This is more like a theory launchpads. Okay. So where you can integrate all the stories because guys, we have two types of users. So one is like a super user, power users or planners who can log into analytics cloud, uh, view the stories in analytics cloud and also can do some self-service reporting. They can also create their own self-service reports. So that's a one type of user. The second type of user is pure operational user who who knows only business so no understanding on IT or technicals okay they cannot come to analytics cloud and view the stories in analytics cloud right so for that we need to build a launch pad where they can directly log into one portal and view all the reports from the portal so that's nothing but SAP analytics hub here 
okay so see if analytics hub can handle not only analytics cloud reports it can handle other reports also business objects reports power bi or click reports also so i can say guys means one portal for all the uh, to integrate all the reporting applications okay so in one of our implementations uh, we have sap and microsoft system so on microsoft they use power bi and sap applications we used sac reporting but we use analytics hub to integrate reports from both analytics hub uh, analytics cloud and power bi into one place so now user don't know whether it's a power bi or sac report what they know is just a business report okay so now if we speak about the architecture we can see here now sap analytics cloud can be connected with cloud data sources or on premise applications to get the data okay so this can this is app this this is an in-house application on SAP Cloud Platform can be hosted on AWS, GCP, Azure. It can SAP Analytics Cloud can be hosted on any cloud platform, but major cloud platforms we use are GCP. Right now it's GCP, and then AWS. So the, the reason why we have a strong partnership with these two cloud platforms is uh, because Microsoft and Oracle are our competitors. They have inbuilt applications, but Google and Amazon they have very beautiful cloud platforms but they don't have cloud applications okay they are not into ERP applications anytime right so they don't have any cloud ERP applications that's why the reason the SAP being the leader of ERP applications it's now deploying all its cloud applications onto this cloud platforms and then it has core capabilities of data connectivity data wrangling data modeling story building etc analytic capabilities like bi capabilities we discussed planning capabilities predictive capabilities and also analytic application these are our analytic application capabilities and then we have additional applications in sac that is digital boardroom analytics hub and sac mobile these are add-on applications we have in sac so this is like an end-to-end -end architecture uh, with sap analytics cloud Okay, let me show you how it will be implemented in different project scenarios. So right now, you can see the existing frameworks, right? If you are from SAP and non SAP systems, we are importing data into BW or HANA, where you're creating the model and connecting live reporting with BO, Power BI, etc. And in S4 HANA, where you can build an inbuilt model like CDSU, you're connecting in live with reporting. This is your existing framework. But how the frameworks will change with SAC? Uh, so actually, now we will import into BW or HANA data warehouse cloud. If you already have a model available, you can make a live connection with SAC and use SAC only for reporting. And if you have an inbuilt model in S4 HANA, you can use SAC directly for reporting. But if it is a non-SAP or SAP or non-SAP systems, you can make an import connection also and use SAP Analytics Cloud for building both analytic models and reporting. So means in some scenarios we use Analytics Cloud purely for reporting. In some scenarios we do both modeling and reporting in SAC. So coming to the planning, also the same stuff. So existing planning. Is like we create models in BPC and use AO for reporting. Okay, same thing. Now you, AO will be replaced with SAC for reporting the entire reporting. And S4 HANA also has embedded BPC, right? Okay, where you can create a planning model and use SAC for reporting. Or you can simply get the data from SAP or non SAP or S4 HANA systems. Okay, get data into Analytics Cloud for creating both planning, modeling, and reporting. So in some scenarios, only reporting in SAC, in some scenarios, both planning, modeling, and reporting. Coming to predictive analytics, okay. So especially we, now we get the data into AI applications for to create the predictive model and import that more data to Power BI Tableau for reporting. But now you can simply extract data into SAC, create both predictive modeling and reporting both under SAC. So this is how your frameworks will change uh, using SAP Analytics Cloud. So these are the different project frameworks you find using SAC. In a single project, you see both live connections and import connections also. Means from BWR HANA systems, you see live connections from 
SAP or some success factors or Ariba systems, you see import connections also. When seen a single implementation, we see both kinds of connections. Okay, so now coming to the training perspective. So this is about your product uh, coming to the training perspective. This is a 60 hour training program. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.